Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time, we are going to talk about scalar and vector quantities. The mathematical quantities that are used to describe the motion of objects can be divided into two categories. These are the scalar quantity and vector quantity. So first let's discuss the scalar quantity. A scalar quantity is any physical quantity that can be identified by number 1, a number which tells us the magnitude of the quantity, number 2, an appropriate unit. Scalar quantities can be added, subtracted, multiplied, and divided by common algebraic laws. Such examples are distance, mass, temperature, energy, and many more. And now on the other hand is the vector quantity. A vector quantity is any physical quantity that can be identified by number one, a number which tells us the magnitude of the quantity, number two, an appropriate unit, and number three, a specific direction. This means that a vector is both a representation of a quantity and its direction. This includes displacement, velocity, acceleration, and many more. For example, imagine yourself calling for a pizza delivery. Then the pizza owner asks you, where do you live? Then you reply, 50 meters east from your store. The 50 meters east is a vector quantity because both quantity and direction is present. But when you reply to the pizza owner, 50 meters from your store, it will only create confusions because the direction is not specified. Here, 50 meters is an example of scalar quantity. Now let us check your understanding by matching the following words to their corresponding category. Let us check your answer. Under scalar are 10 meters, 512 megabytes, and 37 degrees Celsius. And under vector are 500 kilometers southeast, 30 meters per second north, 50 newton downward. I hope you got everything right. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.